All right. Should be a short video this time. Uh, again, on the Zen and Visual. Uh, the, got a question this week asking if you could use field parameters uh, with the Den and Visual. And so I did a quick uh, search to see if someone had already figured this out. I did see a couple community posts related to this, and that showed me that actually uh, Daniel Marsh Patrick is planning to add this functionality to uh, a future release of, of the visual. Uh, but I thought I'd make this quick video to share the temporary workaround uh, for, for how to use this today. Um, a bunch of my videos are kind of workarounds. So when functionality comes along that makes them know, makes them irrelevant, I'm good with that. Um, that's good progress on the, on the product and, and on this visual. All right, so let's just show the the issue here. So on this page, I've got the native visual bar chart and the denim visual, and this version isn't working as I'll show in a minute. And I made uh, a field parameter here to have a hierarchy of category, subcategory, and product name. And for subcategory, this is actually hard coded into this visual that's currently working. But if I click to the other things, you see undefined here, uh, same thing for product name. Native visuals working fine. This one is not. And again, I'm using this uh, field parameter field uh, in the visual, and so it's, it's not working. And you know the reason that is is just to get one of them working. If I jump into the visual, it's out of that. Um, you see, I've got the subcat name subcategory uh, hard coded in there. If I just put um, you know, field switcher in there, which is the name of the field in the visual. I apply that. I'll, I'll get undefined for, for everything, basically. And, you know, seeing the preview of the data down here is really useful. And you can see actually what gets passed in. Um, is right now it's this field parameter selections on product name. And so that's actually the name of the field coming in. So it doesn't recognize this field switcher name uh, anymore. And if I had switched it to category, this would say category and subcategory. Um, so let's go to the other page and show you how to fix this. And it turns out um, the approach I came up to work around this is to add a calculated column uh, using a nested um, if statement to dynamically basically copy the category or the values from uh, the category, the subcategory, or the product name. So basically, if the category name is there, use it. If it isn't, check if it's, if the subcategory field is there. And if it isn't, then use product name. So depending on how many things you had in here, you'd have to have that many nests um, in your if. And just I uh, wanted to show where I found the syntax for this, you know, the Denim Visual supports Vega and Vega Lite. And so this is actually Vega uh, expressions. And if you just read at the top here, you'll see that it does support sort of if conditions. And there's actually two kinds of syntax uh, you can do here. Um, the one in the visual actually uses this. The text I have on the page is this one just to show both uh, once we go into it. Um, and uh, Vega Lite also supports, you know, other kinds of conditions in the in the encoding, but I like to use this one. Um, just makes more sense to me when I'm doing stuff um, as well. So let's jump back to this, and I'll and I'll hop into the, the visual and just show you that it is working. So category, subcategory, product name. Let's jump into the visual, and you'll see it's in that and. Note that it actually, the way I had to do this, um, I don't need to populate these. In fact, I'd have an issue if I tried to, but it, I am referencing these fields, checking to see if they exist in the expression. So it, it creates things in the field mapping, um, but I'm just gonna X out of that and not use them. So that's something you'll have to be aware of. And so in here I'm using, uh, well, I did use the if, uh, same as what I showed there. Uh, previously I used the question mark colon syntax as well. Um, Either will work. I've tested them both. And so basically what I did is added this transform step to add a basically a calculated column inside the visual with that same kind of logic to say, you know, is that is that field there? Yes or no. I did find that um, is defined function 
on this page as well, just to sort of check like, is that field there? And so it's this one here, this is defined. Um, maybe is object would also work. There's probably several other ways it could be done. This was the first one I found that worked, so I went with it. Um, and basically, you know, check if that, uh, that field, that object exists um, in the data set or not. And so when the filter parameter, the field parameter changes values, you know, obviously it, it doesn't come through. So again, right now it's on product name. Um, so that one's there, but the other two aren't. Uh, and so again, added that calculated column. I named that column FP for field parameter. And then I used uh, FP in the, in the field, in the encoding for the Y axis. And so basically what it does is even though the product name uh, is there, if I go to data zero, I think, um, it'll show the, the calculated column as well. And so I've got FP here. So it creates this column and it copies over the values. So th those values match what's in the product name column. And again, that would be dynamic. If it was, if category was there, FP would have the categories and so forth. Okay. So just wanted to show this simple workaround if you need to create a Deneb visual and you also want to take advantage of the field parameter functionality, uh, this is one way to do it.